Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Our rocket is now painted and it's time to start putting on the decals. As mentioned before, I'd like to have this as a gloss black because the decals stick much better to gloss paint because it's so much smoother. There's a lot of surface tension involved um, and that's with these water slide decals and that's why we want it nice and gloss. Later on, we can put a dull finish on the rocket if that's what you want. So the decals are water transfer. Um, the locations of the decals you'll find in the instruction manual right in the middle. Um, so that's what I'm going to be following along. You're going to need some water, just some regular tap water is fine, and paper towels to blot up the excess. Um, I recommend cutting all the decals out first because as you're putting them on, it's getting water everywhere and you might splash them on a decal that you're not ready to put on yet. And then it just makes it harder to put on. So cut them out first. Um, and then put them all on at once. So over here in this pile, I have all the decals cut out. Um, I'll go ahead and put on the NASA decal because these are the easiest ones to see. So um, you just dip them in water and I just let them curl. And I'll maybe do like two, maybe three at one time. Um, any more than that, then they just get, get in the way. Um, I'll maybe do an Air Force C. As I'm touching these things, I'm, I'm dripping water on them. So that's kind of why I got to keep them all out of the way. And you just want to uh, see how this one is uncurling right here. Um, that's kind of when you know that the decal is ready to put on when it just flattens itself out. So that's just going to be just a minute there. Okay, so you get, it's starting to slide around like that. And we're going to take the rocket. And this one's going to go right here. And I'm going to put a little water on the surface just so that it will lubricate it a little bit better. And I'm going to kind of position it where I want it. And then I'm going to slide the decal out from under it like that. Now you can uh, reposition it a little bit. And I'm doing this upside down, so um, I don't know if it's on there straight like that. And then we're going to blot up the excess water. Try to do this very gently to avoid moving the decal around like that. So there's one decal, and I'll do the other one on the other side. Again, a little bit of water on the surface to provide a little bit of extra lubrication. See if I got it right. Okay, just like that. And until these are completely dry, the water has to evaporate out from underneath them. Um, so give them a good 24 hours to dry before you start trying to paint over the top of them. Uh, this one right here is going to go right here on top of the wing. A little bit of water. You can see I'm kind of holding it down here and going in the opposite direction with the paper towel. This kind of locks it down so that it doesn't slide around on me like that. Okay, so that is the process of putting on the decals. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and then uh, we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more. At this point, all the decals are on and I've let it dry for a full 24 hours. So now I'm ready to spray it with the matte coating. 
Um, as before, I don't make recommendations on paints because they're constantly changing the formulations and what you get when you're watching the video might be completely different from when I filmed the video. So, but So all I can say is that you have to be very careful with spraying over the decals because if you spray the wrong type over, um, they could crinkle on you. Um, and basically then you have to peel them off and order new decals and put them on again. So uh, what I recommend is spraying the very, very light coats going on. You're probably going to need like three or four coats, but do them very light um, so that the solvents evaporate out really quick so they don't attack the decals. Uh, the decals are, are really adhered nice. Um, you can just barely feel it uh, when you run your finger across them. They're so thin. Right now the rocket looks really nice. Um, and so I'll go ahead and paint it and then we'll finish up the construction in the next video.